Welcome back to All This Math. This is Professor Parker, and for this lesson, we're going to talk about another exponent property, the power of a power property. So if you look at this problem, you see 6x to the third power, y to the fourth power, all raised to the second power. When you see an exponent outside parentheses, we say all raised to that power. So what we essentially do in this problem is, and you don't want to confuse this with the multiplication property. In the multiplication property, you're going to add the exponents together. But in this property, you actually think of the distributive property. That's how I like to think of it, right? Sometimes I even call it the distributive exponent property because this exponent two is gonna get multiplied by every exponent inside the parentheses. So the outside exponent gets multiplied by every exponent inside, right? Now, one common mistake that people make is they forget that this six actually has an exponent. The coefficient six has an exponent. Even if it's not written, it still has an exponent. So we can think of that as six to the first power even if it's not written. So we're gonna do one times two, which is gonna give us six squared. We're gonna do three times two, which is gonna give us x to the six. And we're gonna do four times two, which is gonna give us y to the eighth, right? Now we just need to simplify six squared. Six squared, not 12, don't make that mistake. Six squared is six times six, which is 36. So our final answer is gonna be 36, x to the six, y to the eighth, and that is today's lesson.